What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, then make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe right now. And if you guys have already been a subscriber, welcome back to the channel. So today, 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 as you guys can already read by that title, I am going to be redoing my daughter's entire room. So a quick rundown, my daughter is two years old and she has been sleeping in my room ever since she was a baby. And now I have two babies in there, okay? I have my two year old and I also have my nine month old baby in there and it's kind of like we're getting scrammed in there we need some more space okay so I'm gonna be redoing her entire room and I'm gonna be trying to transform her into sleeping in her own room if that makes sense so right now she's actually upstairs napping and she is napping inside of our guest room so what I'm doing is I'm trying to wean her out of staying in our room so for nap times I let her sleep up there and here like sooner or later like once her room is finished I'm gonna get her to try and sleep in there at nighttime I don't know how it's gonna work but I figured if I I make the room look nice and pretty or whatever maybe she'll want to sleep in there I don't know so I don't know how long this is going to take um, but I'm gonna be putting like I'm gonna pop up all the dates so you guys can see what day is what how long it's been taking me I ordered all of her stuff already I'm just waiting on a couple more items um, and I ordered it off of Amazon but I have a lot of stuff upstairs in her room that needs to be like thrown away or go to Goodwill or like her room right now is just honestly a big mess so today we're just gonna be cleaning out the room we're probably Probably won't get anything built today or anything done but we will get the room cleaned and that's like the biggest step because we can't start anything until the room is clean so with that being said make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a fast thumbs up don't forget to comment down below what are the type of videos you guys would want to see from me over here on this channel um it's mainly just gonna be me on this channel um I might put my kids in it every now and then but mainly it's just me so comment down below videos that I could just do by myself and also make sure you guys turn on your notifications so you guys will not miss an upload when I post next so let's go ahead head upstairs and I'll show you guys what the room looks like now All right, you guys, so when you walk in her room, this is what you see. It looks a hot mess. I already started some stuff. Um, so this right here is all trash, obviously. I'm throwing this away. This is trash. These are clothes that needs to go to the Goodwill. These are clothes that I'm keeping for Ayla. These are toys that need to go downstairs. These are toys that need to go in her toy box once I build it. These are dresses that need to get hung up another toy this stuff needs to get hung up which i'm gonna put on this wall once i form her bed this is going to go out somewhere maybe i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet um stuffed animals stuff over there and then her little nova's wall too that we had for her birthday party so yeah this is what the room is looking like you guys it is very much a mess right now so today's goal is just to clean the room we need to just clean it and vacuum it and just make sure it looks nice and neat therefore we can build something here because you like look at this room you cannot build anything in here like no there's nothing to be built this is her dresser right here she has the tv in here and she has all of her stuff i already went through all her clothing so she has all of her stuff in here like nice and neat you know we have everything in here her little jeans then we have her shorts and her little skirt then over here guess we have nothing <laughs> so yeah we have this and then she has like this little area over here which i already cleaned up she has a mirror right here so she can see herself and then over here she has just a little book bag she can play with some jewelry a hat some little princess dresses more princess stuff and then some princess shoes down there so yeah i don't know where to start but i guess we have to start somewhere let me show you guys the bathroom really quick because we're going to be doing the bathroom as well walk in here let's turn the light on okay walk in here there's me hey um this is her sister's tub that i need to get rid of because she doesn't use it anymore um and then here we just added this little thing that has like her jewelry in here, like earrings and stuff. And then she just has like a bunch of 
stuff that we have to go through like a bunch of bows and toys and oh more clothes like I have not gone through this yet and then I ordered her a pink one of these so it's gonna be totally different in here but we are going to be cleaning everything so the theme of her room she's not gonna have a specific theme per se but it's just gonna be like all pink um i don't know i just feel like like as girls like i just like pink so i was like maybe she'll like pink too she can't really talk yet so she doesn't tell me like what her favorite color is you know but we're gonna do pink and then whenever she does get older she decides that she wants to change her thing change the theme of her room she can do that okay so we're gonna get out of this and yeah we're just going to start cleaning Alright guys, so her room is now finally clean and it's time to start building. Now I don't know if I'm going to be building right this second, but I'm going to see how I feel after I record this clip because I am tired, I'm out of breath, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and yeah. Here is what the room looks like. So walk in, hey slippers, look how cute these are, Amazon. Alright, so walk in. And this is what the room is look like. It is all clean, you guys. This stuff up here. We got her shoes, and then these are like her letters I'm gonna be setting up in a little bit. But overall, the room is clean. So I think her bed is gonna go here in the middle. I'm not sure, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little update. All right guys, so I wanted to come on here and I wanted to show you guys what I bought off of Amazon. Now everything is still in the package, so I don't wanna like go through everything, take everything out right this second and show you guys. So I'm gonna just show you what I bought off of Amazon. Um, The first thing that I bought was a pink alarm clock. Now she probably won't be using the alarm clock, but I bought her a nightstand table and I just wanted to kind of like decorate it. So this is the alarm clock that I bought for her. It's a little cute little bunny alarm clock. It's super cute. Um, all this stuff that I'm talking about, I will try my best and not forget to link it in the description. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Amazon. The price of the alarm clock was $25. Um, the next thing I bought was a pink bathroom like accessory kit or whatever. And the price of it was $35. It came with six pieces. So it came with all of these things. Now I'm not gonna be using the trash can inside. I'm not gonna be using this trash can because I bought her a different one. But it came with like all the other little cute little things that it came with. The shower curtain that I bought has silver in it. It's pink, it's cute, it cost uh $19.99 they have a white and silver a white and gold and a pink and gold i was debating on the pink and gold one compared to the pink and silver one but i just went with the pink and silver so this is the shower curtain that i bought for her i don't know if you guys can really see it but it has like little cute little designs and lines in it or whatever so i bought that for her bathroom and then i just bought her a mattress obviously i bought her a little throw cover because the sheets and the cup the comforter set that i bought her is white and her bed is pink so I wanted to add like another pink and I got her a little throw cover and the price of that was $50 and it looks like this. So it's just a little cute like, um, I don't know if it's, all right, there we go. 
I think it's kind of like a quilt, like a crochet type of cover. I, like I said, I haven't opened it in the package yet. So hopefully everything that I'm showing you guys, hopefully it comes out cute in person because over Amazon it was obviously cute. So the trash can, remember I told you guys that I'm not gonna keep that trash can. That's because I found this one. And I feel like this one is just way more cuter, way more girlier. It has like little flowers on it. And the price of this one was $27. They have a small one for $13 and a medium one for $15. And I'm going to show you guys. I bought her like some pink um, towels and washcloth. Her lamp that I bought her um, also has flowers on it. And the price of it was... Okay, I know I didn't spend no $50. I don't know. It doesn't let me... It just says see all buying options. It doesn't give me the exact price. But I'll still link it down below. So... This is what the lamp looks like. And then let me show you guys what her bedding looks like and then her toy box. Um, so her bedding, $199 for a twin size bed. They come in pink, black, blue, and light gray. And this is what her bedding looks like. I'll swipe it over so you guys can see what it looks like in like a setting. Super cute. It's a uh, pink and it's velvet, so I'm sure it probably feels like really good. And then her her toy box is dark pink and light pink. I haven't found any dark pink that can go in her room yet, but whatever. Um, it's $42. They also come in a dark chocolate like random color one, and then a gray blue one. And this is what it looks like. So it's like a storage bin. Now I didn't want to get a toy box because she doesn't have many toys. And I feel like this is just easier. Like you can just slide it out, slide it in. You can see what's in it. You know, I don't know. I just thought it was super cute. I'll show you guys the different color options that they have. So they also have this one. And then for boys, they also have this cute little one right there and then I think that's everything that I bought her I also bought her these things that my mom told me about honestly I didn't even know that they had these these were $69 for the extra large one so what happens is Nova sleeps in a bed right now that has rails the twin bed obviously doesn't have rails and Nova is a wild sleeper so she likes to like she'll like sleep one way and she'll end up the other way and so my mom told me about these mesh rails that look like this, this little white piece right here. So I bought two of these, therefore I could put on the side of her bed so she won't fall off in the middle of the night. I didn't know they had those, but those will be coming Friday. That's the only thing that hasn't got delivered yet. Everything else has got delivered. So yeah, that's just everything that I bought her. Um, and like I said, I'll link everything in the description guys down below. Therefore, if you guys want to check it out yourself or if you guys want to purchase it, you know, whatever, you guys are more than welcome to do so. All right, so real quick, you guys, I wanted to show you guys this plant that I bought for her that I got from Kohl's. Uh, the price of it, I think was like $20. I don't really remember, but this is what it looks like. So it has pink in it and I thought it was super cute. I don't know why, but I just love like greenery and plants. All the rooms in our house have it except for, I think except for our room. The boys have it, the guest room has it, the living room has it, the kitchen, like all of it has it. So I thought this was super cute. Instead of just getting like an all green one, I found this one at Kohl's. What's up guys? So it is now day two of decorating Nova's room. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. So standing from the door here, we have just an empty room like this it's just empty nothing's in here yet this is her bed and that is the project for today so today i would like to get her bed done get the mattress on top of it get the bed made and then depending on how i'm feeling we maybe i'll do like a side table or her toy box or something like that so yeah just an update on the room it's cleaned out i vacuumed it as you guys seen already in the last footage and now we're going to be putting her bed and i have not seen the bed in person yet so i'm going to be giving you guys my real reaction and like as soon as I open it and see it, you guys are gonna get the real me. Hopefully it turns out cute. Hopefully it's just like the pictures. I'm hoping that the pink, like the shade of pink is really cute and really nice in the vibe that I was going for. So yeah, let's go ahead and set you guys up and let's unbox her bed. It's beautiful! Let me take you guys off the tripod. Look at the bed, you guys. 
I scratched right here. It is beautiful. I love it. So this is what the headboard looks like, you guys. I'm happy with how it turned out. That thing is super duper heavy, but I think it's because I have to unzip the back and all the other pieces are inside the bed, like the bed head part of it, whatever. So it's really heavy, but I like it. It's really cute. It gives a cute, nice little girly vibe. I can't wait to install it. So now that you guys have seen what the bed actually looks like, now it is time to put it together. So Bianca the Builder, whatever you want to call me, we about to go to work, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, so the bed is finally complete. Let me go ahead and show you guys the finished product of my baby's bed. So here is the bed, you guys. This is from the front. Let's go over here to the side. Um, so yeah, the bed is really low. Like if you look at the top of the wall to so down there, the bed is really low, but there's a reason for that. This bed I did order off Amazon and when I was reading the instructions, it said that the, um, Headboard was adjustable. So I could have like raised the bed up or I could have like, you know, this is the lowest that it could be. Um, but I wanted to use it as the lowest thing possible because she's only two years old. Bed is not high at all. It looks really low in here, but it's just for a toddler. As she gets older and if she wants to keep this bed, we can adjust it and it like the bed can come up more. You know, that makes sense. So looking over here, this is how high it is off the ground. So it's not high at all. Now I'm going to open the mattress up on camera as well. And then after I'm done opening the mattress, I need to vacuum the floor really quick. And then I'm gonna be putting up her uh, pictures above her bed. And I wanted to do that before I actually made the bed because I don't wanna make the bed look at all pretty. And then I turn around and I step on it and mess it up. So what we're gonna do next is vacuum the floor, put the mattress on, and then we're gonna be putting her pictures above the bed. So honestly, this was the biggest piece. This. I have to do a side table, um, and then I also have like a little toy box looking thing. But those are just the only big pieces. Everything else is just small decor, and then the room is finished. I also have a rug I need to put down as well before we make the bed because I have to lift the bed up and put it under, and hopefully the rug is the right size. I'm really bad at measuring, you guys. Every time I measure, it never, it ne it never comes how it's supposed to be. So wish us luck. We're gonna put the mattress on, and then the rug is next.
I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but I was struggling trying to open that mattress. I had a butter knife. I should have had a real knife because that butter knife was not cutting through, baby. But we got it. The bed is out. It kind of scared me a little bit the way it like flopped out. I didn't realize a mattress could be in like a rectangular box like that, but it is. And this is what her mattress looks like. So it's just, this is the Linen Spa? Yeah, that's the brand that it is. It had a lot of really good reviews. I just honestly typed in like child or toddler twin mattress or like that because I know there's like different level of mattresses and I want her to be comfortable. So let me, oh it's soft. Let's go ahead and lay on her. We get to lay on her bed for the first time y'all. Hey, we're laying on the bed. This could, honestly I could fit in this bed. Let me see. Look, I can fit in the bed. Here's the headboard. Here's me. And my feet's all the way down there. I can fit in this bed. So we might be uh we might be cuddling for nap times or something because the bed is comfortable, baby. Uh but now it's time to vacuum and then it's time to put her pictures up. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is her rug. It came in this little square packaging. It looks like this one is going to like explode just like the mattress did. So we're gonna see. I got it in a color white slash cream. And I think I told you guys if I didn't, I did get this off Amazon as well. And I will link it in the description down below. As soon as I back you, I'm making a mess already. Oh, it's so soft. All right, here's the rug. Okay, it's pretty big. Look how big it is, it's bigger than me. Now we have to see, we gotta place it. Um, focus in, uh, hello? Focus it. Thank you. Like, what are you doing? I said focus in and you weren't focusing in, babe. All right, so, uh, it's hot in here. I don't know how to place this rug, y'all. I don't know if it's supposed to go long ways or tall ways. All right, let's see. All right guys, so I got the rug under and I don't know if it's supposed to look like this or not. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below whether or not I should flip it long ways to where it's all the way under the bed or leave it like this and I'll go ahead and switch it whenever I post this video because I really don't know. This is what it looks like. So there's the rug, then there's the bed. You see how it's not all the way under the bed? I don't know if this is right. Let me open the door. This is what it looks like. Comment down below what y'all think cuz I'm indecisive so I'm just gonna leave it how it is like this for now and then like I said whenever I end up posting this video I'll let you guys decide what I should do because your girl's lost okay guys so now I'm gonna be putting those photos over there on the wall I have one more that's gonna go on the wall over there I was thinking about putting the unicorn inside the middle but I'm not going so I'm gonna put it like off to the side and then put two other ones on the other side and I'm gonna be hanging them with these command strips now I don't like putting nails in our wall um even though we own this house I just feel like I'm not very good at doing that stuff so I think these will work really good because this can hold up to 16 pounds and I know that that thing is not no 16 pounds it's super light so I'm gonna be putting those on the I'm put these on the back of that and then we're going to hang them all right guys so I got all the things on the back this is what they look like if you look up close. They're all over. And I'm gonna put this one up first. And I think I want it about here. Um, let me make sure that this one fits. Okay, yeah. Let's do this one first. All right guys, so this is what the wall is looking like. We have this one that says Believe in Magic. 
a unicorn and then we have that little quote right there first Peter 3 3 Four. And that's what it looks like. So I have this one. Still, it says once upon a time. I don't know if I should put it up there, like maybe above the unicorn somewhere, or if I should just leave it for her nightstand. Um, I don't know. We're just gonna leave it how it is. So as you guys can see on the wall, it's not even. And I did that on purpose because I'm the type of person to where I don't make like if I even even if I try to make it even, it's not gonna work. So I was like, why not just stagger it? I don't know if I like it or not, but this is, I feel like I need to move the Believe in Magic. I feel like it needs to get scooted. I feel like it might need to get scooted over a little bit because it's directly under the other one and that's not really staggering it, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah, let me go move that one real quick and then we're gonna see how that one turns out. All right, so I think this looks better. This is what the wall now looks like. I moved the Believe in Magic from directly under the top quote and then I put the Once Upon a Time uh, little thing right there. So yeah, this is what her wall's currently looking like. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that, uh, but for now we are, because those are the only products that I have here. And I think it looks pretty cute. It's not bad, I mean, she's a little girl. I think she's gonna be like, mommy, I don't like it. So yeah, there's that, there's her bed. And now it's time to make her bed. All right guys, so as I was making the bed, I noticed that it only came with one pillowcase. So the other pillow's not gonna have a pillowcase for now. I have to go out and I have to go buy one. But I'm gonna finish making the bed. Um, yeah, therefore you guys can see it. I don't understand why it came with one pillowcase. Like a lot of people sleep with two pillows, but whatever. All right guys, so this is the finished product of her bed. Um, honestly, it's not really finished because I have to put like the pillows and the stuffed animals on there. But this is what the bed looks like. So we have the cream carpet, a little throw cover like that. We have the blanket, the pillow, the sheets, and then the posters. So like I said before, um, I'm pretty sure I said it, her room's not gonna be all one color pink. It's gonna be like a whole bunch of different color pink. Um, it's gonna be like multicolored and I don't know, I just don't like sticking to one color. I like to have options. So that's why you see like the headboard's one color, the pillow's a different color, the cover's a different color, the other stuff's a different color. And then even when I build her uh, stand out for the toys, that's gonna be a different color pink as well. So I don't know, I just think it's better that way. Therefore, I don't have to try and run around and pick stuff that I don't really care for stuff that I don't really like. I just like to do it like that. So whatever. Um, we're gonna add the the stuffed animals on now. Hold on. Oh, come on now. Alright guys, so we're gonna add the stuffed animals on the bed so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so now it looks like a kid bed. That's cute. I like that. So we have the little a uh, unicorn down at the bottom, match unicorn up top. And then we have these stuffed animals right here. And then we have her like a little stool right here. And these two little frenzy animals right there. It's so cute. I love it already. So we did a lot today, you guys. I feel like we got we got a lot accomplished. And right now it is currently 12 19. I've been working on this room for about two hours now. I think I want to do one more thing, which is build her toy set out. And I feel like that should be fairly easy. So I want to build that out see how that looks and then that might be it for the day because I'm tired and I have other things that I have to do. I have to go to the store and blah, blah, blah. I have a lot of stuff to do today. So, um, yeah, that's cute. I literally like, I'm sitting here staring at it like I really like it. So yeah, we're gonna build out her toy set now and then that'll probably be it for the day. Okay guys, so now I'm putting together her toy box and so far all I did was put these little sticks together like this and now what I have to do, I have to get one of these little things it doesn't say right or left on here i don't think so this must be this side
Okay guys, so this is what her toy box thing looks like. It's a dark pink and then it goes to light pink. And then they also gave us some really cute stickers. I don't know if I should put it on the side or let her do it. I might just do it and put it on the side so they basically like go on the sides here just to make it look a little bit more, you know, like kiddish. Um, so yeah, that's obviously not gonna stay right there because it's in front of the door. Where I'm going to put it at, I'm going to put it probably right here on this wall. So this is like her whole like, you know, like toy side, if that makes sense, because over here, I'm thinking about putting a nightstand and then um whenever I end up getting a crib I am also actually going to be adding a crib in here for her sister whenever her sister starts to sleep by herself therefore they can sleep together just like the boys they sleep together so yeah that was honestly really easy to put it on the only thing I was struggling with was as you guys seen this pink thing under there I was struggling with that but I finally got it so yeah super cute super simple super easy and super cheap off of Amazon girl <laughs> So it has now been about three hours since I first started doing her room today and I got a lot accomplished. I did the bed, I have the toy box thing all set up, I put stickers on the side of it. So yeah, we did a lot today. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the room looks like now. And this is all I'm gonna be able to do today because like I said, I have stuff to do, but here when you here's the door when you walk in there's nothing over here yet as you guys can see but here is her bed and then there is her toy box so it looks like that so as you guys can see all the pink coloring is different but I don't mind it um excuse the trash but there's her little you know dress up area and then right here here are the stickers on the side of this one and then we have the toys in here so we have some stuff in there a little animal all the baby stuff some books have you know just like a whole bunch of stuff in there and then we have this little vanity set look you can see my toes <laughs> we have this little vanity set over here where you can blow dry your hair put lipstick on spray just something cute you know and then like i said there is her bed so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a rundown So yeah, that's everything that we got accomplished today. Pat on our backs, a round of applause, you guys. We got a lot accomplished. The only other thing, honestly, I have to do, I have to wait for her side rails to come in, and I'm gonna see how they look on the bed. All we have to do now is a nightstand. We have a lamp. We have to do her bathroom, which I have all that stuff, so I, may, I might be able to do the bathroom stuff today. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's about it, honestly. I'm pretty sure that's it, and then, like I said, whenever I do get a crib, her crib, the other baby's crib will probably just go like right here somewhere. I don't know. I have a pack and play that I am gonna put in here for now. But um, yeah, we got day two done, guys. So I need to show you guys one last thing that I added to the room. So over the play area, I didn't know what to put. I don't have anything here that I could have put over it. So the picture that once was over here, I now have added it over there to on top of her play area. Now that's just temporary. Um, it was just sitting on the ground, so I was like, why not go ahead and put it over there? I wanna put something over there that kinda says like laugh, play, share, something like playful and something that has to do with playing with toys and stuff. But for now, we're just gonna leave that over there, okay? Because your girl don't have anything else yet and I'm really trying to get this room done. So this is now what the room looks like. I think it's cute, I like it, I don't know. I mean, it says Nova's, Nova's Wild 2. So of course, like when she turns three, we may, you know, take that picture out and put something else for her third birthday or I don't know, something. But for now, 
since she's two, um, that picture is gonna stay over there. <laughs> What's up guys? Today is now day three of doing my baby girl Nova's room. And I came up here today and we have a problem, okay? So today we're supposed to be doing the bathroom. We're supposed to be doing her nice and area with the lamp and all that stuff. But there's a problem. Last clip that you guys seen, or the last couple clips that you guys seen, I was putting up her bed, I put up her, you know, little pictures on the wall. Well, the two big photos that were on the wall, they are now on the ground. They fell. Them little sticky things be lying. Them command strips said that it could hold up to 16 pounds. Now, I know dang well these photos ain't no 16 pounds, okay? So when you walk in, it looks like this. It's missing two photos on the wall. One is there, and then the other one is there with the little bear on the ground. So what we're gonna be doing today, I know I said it, I said that I don't like putting nails in the walls, but whatever, I'm gonna be putting nails in the walls for these photos because, I mean, my baby can't be having the sticky things up and when she's in bed sleeping, it can't be falling on her. And that's why I did it before she actually slept in the room, therefore I can make sure and I can see that, you know, it won't fall. And it did. So yeah, first we have to put the pictures back on the wall and then today's task is to get the nightstand done, the bathroom, and then the room is all complete. Now I was thinking about it, I was like, do we need some blinds in here? But I don't wanna put blinds in here because knowing her, she's gonna tug at them and pull at them and they'll just end up getting destroyed anyway. So we're not gonna do that. So the room is almost complete. All right guys, so the pictures are now up on the wall. Yay, it honestly didn't take that long. I thought it was gonna take longer than expected, but it really didn't take that long. So now we're moving Moving on to the next step, which is putting my babies at nice dance together. All right, you guys, so the little nightstand is finally together. The lamp is together. Her little alarm clock is on the stand. The only thing that we need to change is her plug is sticking out, and I don't like that because knowing a toddler, they're gonna tug on it, and yeah, we're gonna change it. But here's what the final look looks like. It's so cute. I don't know if I should scoot it over a little bit more because it's kind of like empty over here, you know? But this is what it looks like. It's just a cute little nightstand, and then her floral lamp looks like this. So let's go ahead and turn it off. And that's what it looks like. So as you guys can see, the plug is here. There is a plug behind the bed. So I'm actually gonna use that plug, the one that's behind the bed instead. Therefore, like I said, she doesn't be tugging on it. Um, so yeah, the room is basically finished. The only thing else that I have to do is her bathroom um, right here. We do have the little pack of play in here that she was sleeping in for a night for nap time and all that stuff. I'm gonna leave that in here for now just in case like she doesn't wanna sleep in the big bed and she does wanna sleep like in her pack and play still. So we're still gonna leave that in here. I need something to go right here. Somebody find me something that could go right here in this area because it's so empty. We have all this space and everything else looks good. All the other space looks good. It's just this. Comment down below, I need help. All right you guys, so I'm now in Nova's bathroom and I'm going to be hanging these little things above 
her toilet. This one says brush your teeth. I have another one that says wash your hands, um, hang your towel. And then the fourth one says flush the toilet. Now I was gonna put them above her like little rack where your towel is supposed to go, but I'm gonna be putting them right here in this area above the toilet. And then I'll just have to find something else to put above the towel area. I feel like when you walk inside the bathroom, I would want to see like some type of, you know, I don't know, sayings above the toilet. I don't know, that's just how I am. So I'm going to be putting these up first. And then um, after we put these up, we'll put her shower curtain next. This is her little trash can that she has for inside the room. I'm just going to be putting it over here on the corner, um, down there. And the little hanging things came with these. Now, I've never seen these before, but we're going to try and use it since it came with it. I don't know. Let's see. See, I don't know really know how to use it, but uh, okay, I think maybe I'm gonna show you guys. I think it goes on this part right here, so maybe light it up like that. Honestly, I have no idea how to use this. I have no idea. We're gonna figure out today, honey. Or do they just go like this? What? I don't know, I think that I'm just gonna probably do it like this to where it goes under there. So, all right you guys, so obviously that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna use my regular snake girl nails because that did not work and I cracked it. Trying to force it, I cracked it. Or honestly, I could probably use command strip. Should I use command strip for nail? I have two nails up here, so let me go get them. All right, you guys, so here is what the words look like. Hang your towel, brush your teeth, wash your hands, flush the toilet. It's right above the toilet, as you guys can see. So I know they're not perfect. I mean, they kind of uneven a little bit, but who cares? It's just for a two-year-old. Now that we got that all settled done, we're going to be changing this shower curtain right here to, to this. Hey, it is so beautiful. It looks way better than the other one, and y'all cannot tell me different, okay? So this is what the shower curtain looks like. Now on camera, it looks like super light, but in person, it looks like like a bright pink. Hold on, see if I can show you guys. It doesn't really look like it's real color, but this is the new shower curtain. We have the little toilet over there, these words right here. And now all we have to do is get her soap little dispenser thing and her towels, and then the whole entire room is a fire. Finally finished. The only thing we're waiting on are the little side rails, but I probably won't show you guys that. Or maybe I will, because this is supposed to come in in like two days. I might wait for that just so you guys can get like the full, full, full effect. But for now, the room is almost complete, y'all. Look how pretty it is. I can't wait to see her reaction. I don't know, should I add her reaction inside of this video? Hmm, should I? Should I not? Or should I add it on a different channel? You guys might have to stay tuned and wait to sleep. All right, so here are her towels that I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I'm just gonna take the them out and uh, I am gonna be washing them but I'm just gonna let you guys see them before you guys can see the actual color of them so this is what they look like now I thought it came with what oh I think it does I think it comes with yes so it comes with washcloths as well so I don't know how many towels let me see one I think maybe three towels it looks like a whole bunch of washcloths so um, I'm just gonna set these here on top of this little stand right here because we don't need it yet and then we're going to go ahead and open up this so as you guys can see the inside color is pink now there is a trash can in here so honestly what i might do the floral trash can i might take out there in her room and put it somewhere therefore she has trash in her room and then this just keep the trash can in here because since it's a set already I might as well just leave it in here so here is the color of the toiletry stuff. Let's see, I don't even know what's all in here. Okay, we have a little soap little thing. We have, oh, we have a new toilet cleaner. So it comes in this. And then we have like the toilet bowl cleaner thing. We also have area for your toothbrush, a cup. I guess, I don't know what the cup is for, but, and then we have a soap dispenser, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna um, 
put the soap inside here, fix this whole book cleaner thing, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, so the room is finally all done and complete, you guys. Only took three days, as you guys seen from all of the footage. It only took three days. Um, Just took a lot of time and energy into it within those three days, but we finally did it. So I'm going to turn you guys around. I'm going to show you guys the whole entire setup of my baby's room. And like I said, the side rails aren't here yet, but once they do come, I'll probably add a clip at the end of this therefore you guys can see what it looks like with that and without that but um yeah on the count of three drum roll please Brrr, one two three welcome to my daughter's new room So, what'd you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed the process of me doing Nova's room. If you guys would like more videos over here like this, like decor or just setting things up or cleaning or whatever, just comment down below, let me know. So, I know you guys seen the slow-mo and all that stuff of the room, but I'm just gonna give you guys another quick look of her room. Um, starting from the door here, I know I didn't show you guys this, but this is just here because it didn't look good in the bathroom, but um, this is the look of her room. It's so cute, we got the rug going on, the bed, the pictures, the play area, that play area, and then her bathroom. So yeah, this is everything that is in her room. Like I said before, everything that I purchased will be in the description guys down below. So you guys wanna click the links, you guys are more than welcome to do that. Um, I'm not getting paid from any of these links or whatever, so I'm just doing this to help a friend out. You know what I'm saying? So I really enjoyed doing her room and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. With that being said, this is the end of the video. Um, but until next time, your girl's gonna see you later. I am out. Peace.